SwiftUI gives us alignment guides for the various edges of our view. That's things like leading and trailing, top, and so on. Plus, we have center and two baseline options to help with text alignment. However, none of these work well when you're working with views that are split across disparate views. If you have to make two views align the same somehow when they are entirely different parts of your user interface. Now, to fix this, SwiftUI lets us create custom alignment guides and use those guides in views across our UI. It doesn't matter what comes before or after these views, they will still line up. For example, we can make a layout that shows my Twitter account name and my profile picture on the left of a HDAC. On the right, show full name plus Paul Hudson in a large font. So I'll say here in our view body, we have a HDAC. Inside there is a VStack on the left with a text of at two straws, my account name. And then an image I added earlier, which is a picture of me, Paul Hudson, nice and big right now. I'll make it resizable and then give a fixed frame width of 64, height 64. Then on the other side of the HStack, we'll do a VStack here with the text of full name, colon, and then the text of uh, quotes, please, Paul Hudson in a font of large title. Now, if we want to have this two straws and Paul Hudson be vertically aligned together, you're going to have a hard time right now. This horizontal stack contains two vertical stacks inside it. So there's no built-in way to get the alignment you want. Things like saying, oh yeah, HStack alignment top. They just won't come close. Yeah, no one here. To fix this, we're going to find a custom layout guide. And this should be an extension on either vertical alignment or horizontal alignment, depending on what you're trying to do. And be a custom type that conforms to a protocol called alignment ID. Now, when I say custom type, you might be thinking of a struct, but it's actually a good idea to implement this as an enum instead, and I'll explain why shortly. The alignment ID protocol has only one requirement, which is that the conforming type must provide a static method called default value in that accepts a view dimensions object and returns a CG float, specifying how a view should be aligned if it doesn't have a custom alignment guide modifier. You'll be given the existing view dimensions object for the view, so you can either pick one of those for your default or use a hard-coded value. Let's write out the code so you can see exactly how it looks. I'm going to say there's an extension on vertical alignment. Inside there will be a new struct called mid account and name, which conforms to alignment ID. And then we'll implement that default value in method right here. What am I reading that if there's no alignment guide? What's the default if there isn't one? I'm going to say, given this context right now of our current view dimensions, just send back the top dimension. That's fine. A good safe default. I'll then make outside of this a constant that wraps this in a vertical alignment object for easier access. So I'll say static let mid account and name be a vertical align uh, alignment here, which wraps a mid account and name dot self struct. So you can see I'm saying use the top view dimension by default. And we have this static constant mid account and name. So the custom alignment guy is easier to use. Now I mentioned that using an enum is preferable to a struct. And here's why we just made this new struct here called mid account and name, which means we could, if we wanted to make an instance of the struct even though doing so makes no sense. It has no functionality built in. But if you replace struct mid account name with enum mid account and name, we can no longer make one of these things. It becomes clear that this thing only exists to house some functionality. Now, regardless of whether you choose an enum or a struct, its usage stays the same. We set this thing as the alignment for your stack then use an alignment guide to activate on any views you want to align together. This is only a guide. It helps you align views along a single line, but doesn't say how they should be aligned. This means you still have to provide the closure to alignment guide, the positions of views along that guide, however you want. For example, 
we can make our Twitter code uh, use mid account and name, then tell the account and name to use their center position for the guide. And so to be clear, we're saying here, align these two views so the centers are both on the mid account and name guide. And so in code, our HDAC will have alignment using that dot mid account and name value. And when it comes to aligning things inside there, when it comes to the two straws part here, I'll say you have a custom alignment guide for mid account and name. And what you're gonna do is say, give me the dimensions coming in and send back a D with a virtual alignment guide of center. So send me back this center value for your positioning. Now we've got to be clear here because it's like, well, there's a horizontal alignment, vertical alignment. This is actually a definitely, definitely a vertical alignment. So we'll be clear like that. And then we have our image, that's not changing. Then we have a full name, that's not changing. But the text Paul Hudson is changing. Again, we have an alignment guide here. And I literally paste this one we had before. Four mid account and name, give the dimensions in, return the center of this view, like so. And now you're seeing these two are vertically aligned along that line, regardless of what comes after them here or before them here. I suggest you try adding some more text views before and after our examples, because you're gonna see Swifty Wild position everything to make sure the two we aligned stay that way.